Hello and welcome to Up The Villa Podcast. If you're new to our channel, subscribe, like this video and get involved in everything that we discuss on this episode today. So it is our predicted lineup episode for Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Massive, massive game. It's got added spice of the FA Cup game as well. So I think the atmosphere is going to be absolutely tremendous and I just can't wait to be at the game. Absolutely buzzing for it, to be fair. So predicted lineup. I'm going to go with Martinez in goal. Obviously, picks himself, doesn't he? Every single game. Um, a fantastic keeper, world class pro. Um, you know, one of the world best goalkeepers in the world, to be fair. So picks himself. We are looking to bring in a goalkeeper. There was rumours of Randolph coming in. I think we need more competition for Martinez because I just feel like if Martinez ever got injured we're in a bit of a bit of a mess I think we can't rely on Steer um, and we've got the young kid uh, Sincero as well so I think he might be going out on loan as well so Martinez for me right back Matty Cash great season I feel like he's come on leaps and bounds I think his attacking intent has got a lot better. He's tenacious. I, I love how hungry he is. I love that he always gives a 7 out of 10 performance, albeit when he gives away a penalty. Uh, but I think he's he, he's had a real good season for me. Probably one of my best players of the season as well. Um, I think he's only going to get better. With a little bit more composure, I think he'll be a real, real good right back for Aston Villa. Centre-backs, contact, Mings pick themselves. No competition for places on their front. Um, Again, I think I think they are, they are really good as a two. Mings' his leadership absolutely brilliant. I think communication at times has gone wanting this season. I think we saw for their goal at Old Trafford that, that there's arms going, there there's fingers pointing all the time. So I think we need to sort of stop that. But they are our best two centre backs, so they start for me. I did like when Konsa was running out from the back with the ball as well. I thought that was really good. Left back for me. If fit, if he can play, Luca Dina, top, top pro, top, top class signing. I can't believe we've got him through the door. I've been watching him for many years in the Premier League and I thought he's one of those players that you just look at and you think very, very good. So for me, he starts, if fit, his heat map, it's red all the way down the pitch. His attacking intent, top class. Technically, brilliant. His left foot, sensational can hit a good set piece as well which we lack at times so for me if fit Luke Dignett starts this game all day long Matt Target yes defensively the two of them they're pretty close aren't they uh, within the stats but I think Dignett his composure um, and his attacking intent I think he's, he's, he's got to start I think it's his conviction as well Especially against United at Old Trafford, I think Target gets in good positions, but the, the conviction just, just isn't there for me. So, Dina all day long. Three midfield, Luis, Sanson and Ramsey. I think this area in the pitch is absolutely crucial for us um, to win the midfield battle. I felt like we did win the midfield battle up until United went to a diamond in the FA Cup. Um, McGinn is suspended for this game as well. Sanson makes his first start since Boxing Day. Um, and I think the three of them work really well. I think we're going to need energy. We're going to need the press, which I think Sanson does really well. I think Ramsey just needs to have that little bit of belief. I felt like that went wanting at Old Trafford. I think he just needed to just believe in himself, take that shot. Um, and, and I think those three are set up well for this game as well. On the right-hand side, Buendia, we're starting to see Buendia's best moments. Uh, the pirouettes, the silky skill, the movement, the, the touch, the pass. I think, yes, he does give the ball away, but I think any type of player like that will give the ball away at times. But I just think if we are more solid as a midfield three, then I think we should be able to mop up on their counter as well. So, Buendia starts on the left-hand side. The magician starts. Coutinho makes his first debut for Aston Villa. Still can't believe we've got Coutinho, to be fair. Uh, but yes, I'm expecting massive, massive things from Coutinho. We've saw his little highlight reel, what Villa put up in training. The ball stuck to his feet. The little feints, the little shimmies. The finishes already. Uh, yes, Coutinho is going to light up Villa Park on Saturday. 
He's got a great record against Manchester United. Um, so I heard Gerard mention we lack the, the a, a few percent, three five percent here or there. He will bring that percent. He is the missing pieces of our jigsaw, and I think he's just going to light up Villa Park, and it's going to be a brilliant occasion. And up top for me, Ollie Watkins on your bike, kid. These two now are going to be pinging in balls, through balls, everything galore. I think it's going to be a brilliant combination and a match made in heaven for Watkins to have. Um, Coutinho and Brendia in behind him. I don't. I want, you know what else does he? What else can he? Can he want as a striker to have those two fantastic players feeding him balls? I think we've got out wide. We've got now a balance which I think is brilliant. Uh, all we lack now is the CDM. I think. Um, Bissouma was 50 mil, now it's 40 mil. I think when Johan Lang wants to do his job, I think he'll get in for around 25, 30, he comes to Aston Villa. Uh, but yeah, so the atmosphere at Villa Park, I think it's going to be a magical night under the lights. What's not to like uh, at Villa Park under the lights? The atmosphere is always amazing. I think it's going to be one of the best atmospheres we've tasted. It's got that little bit of added spice from the FA Cup game. It's Man United coming anyway, and I just think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We've got two new boys hopefully starting, so the atmosphere will be tremendous for that as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to being at Villa Park on Saturday. Uh, another little transfer link. The link that's not gone away is Basuma. Uh, I'm here just to talk about football things, so I'm going to leave the off-field things to one side. Uh, as a footballer, he's exactly what we need. And like I've just said, the fee has already gone down to 40 million. So I think some hard negotiations, we could probably get him for a little bit less as well. Um, so let me know what your predicted lineups are going to be. Let me know your score predictions for this game. We are due to give somebody a walloping. I think we are due to absolutely batter someone. And I went up to Old Trafford. I don't think United are that good. I've not felt like they're that good all season. And if I'm being honest, I think if we bang at it with the atmosphere, with the passion, with the two new boys coming in, I think we beat Man United and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Villa win. So let me know your thoughts. Up the Villa. Cheers for all the support. Speak to you soon.